Wow. That's weird, like coming into the ice, of course it's moving the same as the ocean. So it's like the ice is alive, it's like throbbing. Woo, woo. Wow. Little traveller's tip, yeah? Don't be so keen or quick to volunteer when someone says, do you fancy doing something? Because it might backfire on you. OK, right, here I go. Oh, the thing is, the whole point of this is to get to the top because you've got a fantastic view all over the pack ice and that's the best place to spot a polar bear. So if I see it, I'm going to take all the glory. spotting polar bears from a distance, so the captain decides to take the ship even further into the ice, as far as it will go. The aim is to get as close as possible to any polar bears that might be out there. We're carving away, cracking away through the ice with the hull of the ship. It's all sort of slowed down and it's quite a weird feeling, because you can hear that with the ice going under the hull. It's amazing. Whoa, look at that. All that ice getting crushed by the boat. I think that's as far as we go. You can see where the ship tried to crack through the ice. That's the front of the bow there. But we couldn't get through because the ice is too thick, so we're going to be just have to stay here and uh, look from this vantage point. Now all we can do is cross our fingers that a polar bear is out there somewhere and comes out onto the ice so we can see it. After an hour or so watching and waiting, we're in luck. Wow, it's really hard to spot. There's a polar bear right out there in all the snow. He's miles and miles out there on the ice. You can only see it through binoculars. And it's sort of moving quite fast. You lose it because of the bad weather. And then, like, oh, you... but it's just like a blip. You have to, like, have super hawk eyes. And you've got to, like, track it. See, I've lost it now, talking to you. That's your fault. Thanks, you made me lose it. <laughs> 